too. And uh, we're joined here by Jackson and uh, Caroline, not Carol Squiggly. <laughs> she, she told me a minute ago. Old joke, she said. Can't take credit for it. But uh, uh, Jackson, you're 11. Yes. And uh, things kind of changed when you were nine. Yes, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is um, a solid bone tumor I had in my left femur. Well, let's ask mom. First time you notice something is out of the norm, and you say, we need to maybe go to the doctor and yeah, have Jackson. something looked at here. Jackson was complaining about having pain in his leg and being a, a rather tall nine-year-old. We just kind of thought it was growing pains and took him to the pediatrician and they just kept saying, well, change shoes and, you know, let's see what happens every few weeks. And as the uh, months went on, the pain was not going away. And he knew his body and he kept listening to it and kept telling us this is a, a sharp pain. And so we got an x-ray and that x-ray showed a tumor in his uh, femur that we were not expecting to see. So how long was the process from from the first time you went, you know, boy, something doesn't feel right or something hurts to when you actually got the diagnosis? Yeah, we were really lucky um, that we actually got uh, the x-ray on a Thursday and got to meet Jackson's oncologist on a Friday here at All Children's. And um, from that moment until he, he was uh, cancer-free was about 11 months. And so the first time they say osteosarcoma, what do you think when you hear that, when when that's what they tell you you're looking at? I, it's a, you freeze. It's a, it's a, a frozen moment where you feel like you're in a movie and somebody's telling you something that you're not really processing or comprehending. And, and uh, it takes a little while to process. And Jackson, just, you're nine. Yes. Two years ago mm -hmm. when this happens and, uh, Mom has to process it and realize what's going on. What did you understand at that point? What was happening? Not what was really. Going on? I, I was like, what, "What's going on? What, what does this mean?" Um, did you realize that it was a serious deal? Um, after a little bit, I um, I realized that it was a pretty serious deal. And, and so then you start going through the process and looking through some some of the notes here. Uh, Twenty rounds of chemo, in what uh, some quick math about ten months there. Yeah, mm -hmm. 10, 11, Yeah. And what was it like? What was it like going through that? You're nine years old. What's fourth grade? Is that about where yeah, you were when this grade, when this hits? Yeah, it it was tough, but um, all the people at All Children's are really nice and very helpful while you're um, here. How about that. school? How how about going through school when you're when you're doing chemotherapy for that long and that many sessions? And or was, were you able to go to school? Did you have to well, stay home? How? Um, I did go to my school sometimes, but I skyped with my class. Ah, um, technology. Yes. yes. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, so then you do that, and then uh, the uh, tell me about what happened with the tumor yeah, and what you had to do and what happened as a result of, of having it removed and everything that went with it. Well, um, I got it removed, and they put in a prosthetic leg, and um, I have, it goes all the way up to my um, Must your hip. hip and down into my um, tibia. Yep. And and when they remove the tumor, they actually kind of look at it and they, um, they determine the percentage of necrosis, which means how much of the tumor has died right. based on the amount of chemo that you have before. And his was 100% dead, which is amazing. We are extremely fortunate. And then, then here we are two years later, <laughs> back in school. Yes. Healthy, mm -hmm. cancer-free. Sure. Yes, free. There we go, yeah. right on. Yeah. And it's uh, it's stories like that with Jackson here that we want you to become a miracle maker with us for just fifteen dollars a month. One eight hundred two seven zero, eight six four two. If you want to get involved here and help All Children's Hospital with us, uh, cool deal with Jackson. Just eleven now after going through two years of this, and now Jackson, you're on the other side of it. You're helping raise money, yes. uh, and help with other kids that are going through stuff. How do you how do you do that? What 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 have you done that you you've helped raise money here for the hospital? Um well, we've um had lemonade stands and raised a lot of money doing that. Um and yeah, trying to help like that. And then here you are, 11 yeah. just skateboarding. I saw you're a big sports fan. Love the Rays, love the Lightning. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't see the Bucks on the list. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been to a few. All right, well, they're getting better. So we'll we'll put them on the list <laughs> next right. year, right? All right. Yeah. All right. Uh so uh, you've got uh, you're going through this. You're raising money for it. Yes. Things are a little different, but you could say mm -hmm. life is 
back to normal as yeah, far as much. you know being healthy obviously you have the prosthetic leg and things yes. are different um but what would you say for somebody that's sitting there listening to your story and thinking eh, boy these you know i guess i could find a few minutes here to pick up the phone i don't know I, I got something here what would you say right now that would make them drop what they're doing pick up the phone become a monthly miracle maker make a one-time donation here with all children's um to do it because it helps fund research and um, make the hospital better, even though it's great, but <laughs> they could make it um, an even better place than it is. Exactly, and all the money that comes in here and all the money that we raise with these couple of days of our Radiothon, it all stays here local with Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. So that's why we ask you to, uh, to become a partner here and help us and become a monthly miracle maker. Before you, uh, before you run, Jackson and Caroline, uh, somebody told me to ask you about being the, uh, the YouTube channel superstar. Is that true? <laughs> is, that still ha is that still happening? Uh, a, a little bit, a little bit. A little <laughs> bit. Right, so what's the story behind that? What's, what's the videos that we... Um, well, I haven't been doing them lately, but um, just, um, they weren't... Um, they help me like take my mind off sure. um, other things. So. We, we get so, that. Yeah. All right. Well, appreciate you stopping by and uh, just two years since the whole ordeal started and looking at you, talking to you, hearing your story, you, you wouldn't know that anything had happened. If I can just say uh, that you it's say whatever you it's, want. It's really important to be on one side of the table where you're you're giving and giving and giving, and you never know when you're going to have to be on the receiving end of such amazing, um, you know, uh, nurses and doctors and nonprofit hospitals such as Johns Hopkins All Children. So you never know when this you know this amazing facility is going to be really important in in every other person's life. And so I always say. Just pay it forward because you never know when you're going to have to receive we this don't, kind of help. We don't think it'll happen to us. And right. you went to the doctor and they told you, I'll go home and it's uh, it, try some shoes. And, you know, it, it goes from something like that to something to cancer. way more serious. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's why we're asking for you to help, for you to make a donation, for you to be a monthly miracle maker with us. $15 a month can get it done. 50 cents a day. 1-800-270-8642. The Bulls for Kids ladies are standing by. They'll take your call. And, of course, our Power Hour continuing here for a few more minutes with Mid-Florida Credit Union. They'll match next $2,500. Thank you, guys. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thanks.